Our final detour before solving the Schrodinger equation for our first model system is to discuss just what the heck does the wave function mean. So we have some wave function and it's plotted versus x here. So if it's a wave function in one dimension I can have it plotted versus x. It has a value at every single value of x. And what I have plotted here is the wave function squared. So notice for the wave function we can have positive or negative values, but for the wave function squared those negative times negative become positive, so the wave function squared can only have positive values. So the psi of x, as I mentioned, is the wave function, but this psi of x squared, or the magnitude of psi of x squared, this is equal to the complex conjugate of psi times itself, is what we would call the probability density. So before we get into probability density, let's discuss this psi star psi part here. So in general, the value of our wave function can be a complex number. So a complex number, if you remember real and imaginary numbers, a complex number has some real component, A, and some imaginary component, B. And the imaginary component gets multiplied times I, which is the square root of minus 1. So the wave function, psi of x, is equal to its real part, plus the square root of minus 1 times its imaginary part. And then its complex conjugate is you keep the real part the same and you switch the imaginary part. So c equals a plus bi, c star equals a minus bi. So the only difference here is any place where we find an i in the wave function, we change that to a minus i. So this is equal to psi star times psi, gives us the real part squared plus the imaginary part squared, which is equal to the magnitude of this complex number squared. So when we say the magnitude squared, that's because in some cases we can have imaginary parts and that complicates the math a little bit. Okay, but I said that psi star times psi, or the magnitude of the wave function squared, is a probability density function for our particle. So there's a lot of different interpretations of quantum mechanics. It's not actually fully known exactly what the wave function means, but the most common interpretation of what the wave function means is what we're going to discuss here, which is the Born interpretation. So that means the wave function times its complex conjugate, so psi star times psi, times some little area, dx, is the probability that the particle is between x and dx. So graphically what I've got drawn up here is if I have psi star psi, or magnitude of psi squared, and then I have that times dx, this little probability here, are, this is proportional to how likely I am to find the particle in any given small little region dx there. And that's true for small dx. For larger dx, we have to do an integral because the wave function is going to change over the course of this little dx here. So what this implies, given that our wave function squared is a probability density function, this means that the following integral has to be equal to 1. So the integral from minus infinity to infinity with respect to x of psi star of x times psi of x, so that's the probability density over all of space. So the probability that the particle is located at this particular location, integrated over every possible location, means that we have a 100% probability of finding the particle within this region here. So if we have a 100% chance of finding the particle somewhere, and we've looked over everywhere, then the probability of that better be 100% or 1. So this concept here is called normalization, and we're going to use this a little bit later when we start deriving wave functions for real systems. So normalization is going to give us a tool to help us deal with a few uh, constants in the wave function but we also need to remind ourselves that it's because we're interpreting the wave function or the wave function squared as the probability density telling us where our particle is most likely to be and the bigger the value of psi squared the more likely you are to find the particle at that particular location